And we're going to do a little bit of a tour of the dye studio today. Nice that it's a little room that's kind of away from the rest of um, the house, which allows me to come and go as I please. Um, probably the most used implement or tool in the studio is my dye bath, which is basically just a food warmer without the insert that you can buy at any restaurant supply store. At the moment I have one. Um, I would very much like to increase that, but we will see. Um, over here is the table where originally this is where I was doing my hand painting and such with the yarn. Uh, but I very quickly discovered that I might have a slight problem with dye in the sense that I have an absolute wackadoodle load of it. Um, before I started this adventure, I thought that I would, quote, stock up on what I thought were the essentials. Um, yeah, stocking up and obsessing, I think they are very much on the same parallel. Um, here on the table is um, one of my dye recipe sheets. I found a great um, book on Amazon and so I filled it. Unfortunately there were only like 20 pages or so and so I have just been copying out the pages and using for my own benefit and I'm sorry if that sounds like I'm cheating but it's pretty straightforward. Um, I do have two or three books that I used when I first started, The Ashford Book of Dying, which is brilliant, um, sort of the scientific hand dyeing yarn, um, and fleece was a very simple one, and dying to